first time I felt like I became famous. Being on Hong Kong, Vogue Hong Kong. <laughs> I got home. Oh, hi, Jay Park. I'm excited to share my five first. Let's go. Ooh, I think Britney Spears. When I was growing up in high school, or maybe Jennifer Lopez. I don't know who came first, just because when I was growing up in Seattle, they were just coming like along on the scene and they were all like the, the very hot, like it people, it girls. Um, so I think either Jennifer Lopez or Britney Spears. The first song I ever, I think the first rap I ever wrote that I remember is the one that I auditioned with in 2004. So it's been what, 18 years? Still remember it to this day. My lyrics will make you lost in your tracks, make it harder for you than for Jesus to carry the cross in his back. You heard me, I'm dirty dog. I need a bar of soap. If this was a race, then I'd leave you. Comic smoke got to chop his flows. Other kids got to stop his blows. No matter what you lose, like Clinton and Ross Perot. Something like that. So, yeah, I think that's the first rap I wrote. First tattoo, ooh. I think the first tattoo is the one behind my ear. Um, right here it says AOM, Art of Movement, which stands for my B-Boy crew, my breakdance crew art of movement that I joined in high school. High school. So I think dancing and, and, and break dancing gave me a sense of identity and a sense of community. And uh, that's how I am still friends with all of them till this day. It's been what, like 18 years? Yeah, over 20 years. It was a hamster. I was too young. Um, our hamster probably had a name like 30 something years ago, it was 30 years ago. Um, so I don't remember, but our first dog's name um, that we had in, in third grade is called Chedon. And that means kind of like cute gestures. Yeah, so our first dog was a Maltese Chedon hamster. First time I felt like I became famous being on Hong Kong, Vogue Hong Kong. <laughs> when I shot the the cover of Nothing On You by B.O.B. and Bruno Mars not, in 2010. And I put it on YouTube, my own channel. Um, like I had, I started from zero subscribers. I think got two million views in one day. Like, oh, I expected like maybe a few thousand. And I, I didn't know, it was, it was just shot very simply in my bathroom. Um, so yeah, that's when I was like, oh dang, I'm pretty famous. I don't really have any specific expectations in, in terms of fame. I think that's very, it depends on what you want to be famous for, right? If you have too many expectations, I feel like you're setting yourself up for disappointment, um, whether it be one person or a million people. Uh, I appreciate people that support me and, and listen to my music and, and follow my journey. Um, and, and as for other artists, I, I feel like if you just keep it true to yourself and authentic and uh, make sure you work hard and you create something of value so that people they gravitate towards, then you'll be good. Vogue Hong Kong, that was my Fab Five. Hope you enjoyed. Hot Tiki. See you next time. Peace.